Hi everyone, this is Paul from Ortho Eval Pal. Today I want to talk about biofeedback with quadriceps suppression. All right, and Leslie here has an arthritic knee. She didn't have very good extension when she first came in, but we optimized that by heating her knee, stretching it out into extension, and now she's nice and straight. But what she's been having trouble with is her quad. She's not activating it very well. She's not able to alternate going up and down stairs, not able to squat very well. And that has to do with the swelling and the pain that she has in her knee. She was placed in an immobilizer for a week and did not take it off, and so therefore developed some atrophy and some weakness. So we started to work on some quad sets, but we felt like she could contract her quad a little bit better. And by getting a good quad set, it will optimize the extension and maintain that extension better, which is so important for function, all right? So what we did is we placed the biofeedback patch uh, along the fibers of the VMO, and uh, we're just trying to get her to tighten that up. Now, sometimes, People have difficulty doing a quad set if they don't have something to push up against. So if you're lacking extension, now this may beep a little bit because the biofeedback will pick up a little bit of motion. When she first came in, she was like this and she couldn't contract her quad at all. Now that we have her a little bit straighter, she's able to do a little bit better. But we're going to do a little demo here. So what I did was I set her biofeedback, and I don't know if you can see this or not, but the arrow is her goal. You can see that she has some activation going on in the quad right now, just sitting there, okay, at rest. And as she tightens up, which I'm going to have her do right now, you'll notice that the bars are going to go toward the arrow. Once you hit the arrow, it's going to beep, and that'll give her that biofeedback. So go ahead, Leslie, and go ahead and tighten up your muscle. Tighten, tighten, tighten. And rest. So we're going to back off now a little bit, and I want you to take a look at that. So a while ago, she was not contracting that hard, okay? But now she is because she understands, she can hear that her quad is working a little bit better and we can change that arrow and move it and change the goal so she can work a little bit harder. So I want you to go ahead and try tightening again. Great. Now if she was having a difficult time doing that because she couldn't get it fully straightened out, I might take like a little towel like this just to give her something to get some feedback from, okay? So now what I want you to do is I want you to compress that towel, squeeze it really tight, 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 tight. Great. So at first, she might learn how to start to contract and then I can take the goal and I can change it. I can move that arrow a little. There, so we're gonna challenge her a little bit. Now I want you to push really hard, try to make it beep, push hard, push, 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 push. Now it's getting to be a little more challenging. So as she learns and develops a little bit more you know, neuromuscular control, she'll be able to tighten it better. So this is, using biofeedback is a great way to reactivate the quad actively rather than do Russian stimulation or just to do it on her own. Um, so that is my little tidbit on biofeedback with a suppressed quad. If you have any questions, please leave that in the comment section of the video. If you liked our video today, please give us a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe. Thanks.